Yeah, thank you very much for inviting me to this beautiful city. As uh, this is my third visit to Chekpo, but this uh, my, uh, but the first visit to this city. So, <clears throat> and and uh, so I I so basically I know as a Chekpo architecture through the works of Antonio Raymond. You know, you know, probably you know Antonio Raymond. He is he is great architect. As a, as work working in Japan and uh, and uh, so still so his his works was, is very much respected by us. Uh, the story one episode I want to tell is uh, uh, about uh, Mr. Inoue. Mr. Inoue was a sponsor as a client of Antonio Raymond and uh, his masterpiece Gumba Concert Hall. Probably some know. It. Some of you, you know that beautiful concert hall is uh, very thin concrete and the shell structure and uh, has a uh, uh, four different structures. You, you know, <laughs> that's uh, the Mr. Inoue has uh, asked the Raymond to design the building. As, uh, I, I am working for the preservation of the building uh, because uh, uh, the, the local as a uh, the mayor said once decided to demolish the building, but finally we can keep the building. But uh, Mr. Inoue is, I know Mr. Inoue personally he, because he lived as a, uh, until the age of 95, and uh, I know the many interesting story between him and Anthony and Raymond. And, that is, uh, and the grandson of Mr. Inoue is still my close friend. And uh, this is about my relationship with Czech. Czech. But today, the theme of my lecture is <clears throat> what happened after uh, March 11. You know, March 11 is a tsunami, a big disaster in Japan happened uh, 2011. It's already three years ago. As, uh, and that changed the, our cultures and our economy very, very much. As, uh, and uh, and I think as, uh, it's a, this is a very good change for us because as, uh, because of the disasters which as uh, we are facing the a perfectly new situation and uh, my understanding is as, uh, always big disasters change human as a first example is that. Disaster is happened in Lisbon, Portugal, 1755. After the big disasters, this is always it's uh, it had tsunami as well, and uh, 50 or 60 thousand people died by that earthquake. And this is a big big disaster at that time, so because of that population of that time is one tenth of the population now, and then the gave a big shock, shock to the people. And some historian pointed out the modernism movement actually happened because of that disaster. As a, and modern science and modern as a technology, all that kind of modern some things happened after the tsunami. And uh, this is another big disaster that happened in America. So the, and some historian also pointed out that as a architectural history in America started by this disaster. And after those big disasters, three years ago we had the tsunami. Uh, as, uh, as you know, uh, uh, 30,000 people died by earthquake and tsunami. And uh, I took this picture by myself. I visited that, the, this city, the Ishinomaki was most uh, devastated, Ishinomaki was most devastated city in Japan. And uh, I took this picture by myself because I designed this building in Ishinomaki. And uh, when I saw the news on TV, I was so shocked. Because my building, this building, was very close from waterfront and floor lake. So no hope as a, to, to stay that building. 
but <clears throat> at the end I tried to call the building, but as, a, as you guess, we cannot as I talk to them. So because telephone connection, oh, I lost it as a, as a stopped at that time. But two weeks after, suddenly, the telephone, the, the connection recovered, and I could talk with them, and they said, ah, we are survived, we are okay. And then I went to the site, to that place. This is my building, but it's difficult to find, but still building there. So, because I would like to as a hide the building in the landscape. I want to melt the building in the landscape. And one third is on the ground, and two thirds of the building is on the ground. And uh, this is the Kitakami River. This is Kitakami Canal. The building is like a tunnel it's between the city and the river. This is the plan. This is section of the building, Kitakami Rivers and the city. And uh, this is the city of Ishinomaki. And uh, because of tsunami, those buildings were damaged a lot. But my building was survived because there was a one meter gap from the city and the building. And uh, so, so we are as a very, very lucky. So, and uh, this is uh, the river side of the building. So, so, so the theme of that building is how to merge the building into landscape. And uh, we have the big windows which separate exterior and interior. Uh, this is Kitakami River. <clears throat> and, uh, in Tohoku area, the devast destroyed devastated areas, we designed some buildings, but luckily the most, so those buildings are all saved. This is uh, Hiroshige Museum. So you know Hiroshige is a famous ukiyo-e artist in 19th century. So for that building, so I tried to so use local material as possible as can. So for me, it is a big chance to work with indigenous local material. That I use a local wood and local stone and local papers. But the most important thing is the layout of this building. <coughs> this is the typical structures of Japanese village. So this is the main street. This is the center of the city, the center of the village. And uh, the rule of the urban design of this village is centers and sat satoyama, meaning of the satoyama is a village mountain, is next to each other. Because the life of the people is uh, totally revived on the natural resource of mountain because wood, material, came from the mountain and energy came from the mountain and the fertilizer came from the mountain and so without the mountain, people cannot breathe, cannot survive and then they built shrine in the mountain the shrine is a big message shrine is a message, what is the message? don't destroy the mountain if destroy the mountain, we cannot live so, ever that is a strong message of the life. But in 20th century, people forgot Satoyama. So Satoyama was abandoned. So the so forest was abandoned. And even the shrine was abandoned. So the so people so abandoned the shrine. It's a big, big so, so problem for us. Why? Because they look at Tokyo. They only look at the big city because everything came from that big city. Material, energy, and everything came from the big city. And they forgot the nature of the place. And, and the, the goal of my building is 
to have the connection between Satoyama and city again. And then so we designed a big hole which penetrate the building. And because of the big hole, this big hole, the people can look at the mountain again. And after looking at the mountain, people can get in the building. This is a kind of arch to nature, and so this is the message of my building. But uh, <coughs> the mayor, as this is a, 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 a episode, the mayor asked me to have the big entrance facing parking, and I said, no, 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 the entrance should be behind the parking. The entrance should be facing mountain. And, uh, and finally, I can persuade him. And then the entrance is here. The and the material, also I asked the mayor to, to introduce the good craftsman of that city. And then I can work with craftsmen, and I can work with local material. For example, local stone, local rice paper, local wood, and then the, most of the material is uh, from the place. And that is very important for the, the place. And also I think this is a real strongness of the place. The, in 20th century, people tried to uh, use the material from Tokyo, the industrial material from Tokyo, but it's made, it's made the place weaker and weaker. And the dance, uh, and the result of that kind of trend was tsunami. Tsunami that destroys the local place. But if so, so we know the strongness of the place, so we can have a different direction. I want to show the different direction. This is another building. Material is the earth of the place. This place, I found this building. The material is earth of the place. And also this is a, the wall material was the earth. And this is a very so short circuit of material and the result. But because already people forgot that method. So what I did for for him for there is to make the earth black block and made the build, that kind of building by the use of land. And the, it is very good for energy saving, and it's very good for as a material saving. Because material is, is that as a material. And also a good thing for this material is to control temperature and humidity by the material, without <coughs> air conditioning. And this is one of the national treasure in Japan. It's a Buddha statue, but we don't have air conditioning machine in that building. Material itself can, can control the, the environment. And another story is this building. This is a, as a imperial hotel, a flat designed by Franco Wright. And Anthony Raymond actually, he, is a, he made the drawing of that building. So when so, uh, Flat Boy Wright and Anthony Raymond came to Japan, they said we wanted we want to use local material as possible. And they used this material. This is a, as a very sort of volcanic stone so from, so from Japan. They didn't want to use Italian marble, they didn't want to use it as a, such kind of as a gorgeous material. Local material is the best, they said. And uh, I designed the, the station plaza very close from the quarry of the, the local the stone, volcanic stone. And this is our design. So this is a, 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 the old factory. What I, we did is we use the same material and then the, to make the old building to the lighter building. 
This is a detail we did. So we combine local material plus steel plate to make it lighter and more transparent. The structure is a bit challenging. It's a kind of composite structure. And the structure engineer, he, he, for him, is a big challenge. And this is the interior. And this is a new part of the building. As I always the respect local material, local craftsmen, but at the same time, I want to combine the contemporary technology with local material. This is a good example. There's a bamboo house. The bamboo, I love bamboo, but bamboo has weakness, so it's easy to have cracks. And uh, what we did is to combine bamboo and steel structures, and the, and the steel clubs is, is a bamboo, and we put concrete between steel club and bamboo. And uh, for every project, we made that kind of mock-up. And this is my first bamboo house in Japan. And uh, please forget those neighbors. It's, uh, this is an uh, ugly Japanese uh, it's modern houses. Uh, but this, my bamboo house, I tried to as a, uh, so, yeah, so use bamboo as possible as can. Floor is made by bamboo. Partition and ceiling, all made by bamboo. And this is a rice paper wall. And the uh, next bamboo project is in China, because Ch in China, the bamboo is also very important material. The site is very unique. It's very close from Great Wall. And I learned something from Great Wall. The lesson from Great Wall is respect landscape. The built wall is following the landscape. Don't, they don't cut the landscape. And also my bamboo house so follows the landscape like that. And we didn't cut the land. If we cut the land, the vegetation and the plants and this will, will be gone. And this is part of Great Wall. And uh, in the center of the building, I designed this kind of void. The void is very important. For Hiroshige Museum, the, we have the void which connects nature and city. And for this building, this void connects nature and the city. And as for the material, <clears throat> we worked with local craftsmen of China and they did, did a beautiful work by bamboo. And this is the void we designed. And this is a void. This is a bridge to the void. And uh, this kind of semi outdoor space is integrate is to integrate exterior and interior. Also integrate natures and artifact. And the next material is wood. So in Czech, as so you have so the good, there's a very old, there's a, deep tradition of the building, but in Japan we also have the deep tradition of food. I designed a small pavilion in Italy, and hint is this toy. This toy is a kiss. Don't use nail or screw or glue. So only the joint system can fix the structure. The three joint system so just one action, the kids can fix the structure. And we brought those sticks to Italy. And we built, my student actually, my student can build that structures without any carpenter's help. And so my next step is to realize the system for the real size building. We tested in my university of Tokyo. And, uh, and so my structure engineer said, that we can build 10 meters building by that system. And this is a section. 
this is the result. This is interior. And actually, we have the, as a glazing here, which separates exterior and interior. And this is, a, is very good. This grid system is very good for providing the, the box for exhibition. And then the exhibit is here. And uh, so step by step, so we find the, the secret of wooden structures. And next step is a step is a wooden bridge. This is a structure of wooden bridge. <coughs> this is a small village as the people are working with the forest. And the, 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 I've talked with them and their dream is to make the, the wooden bridge again because they have a traditional wooden bridge but it's gone and uh, they would like to reconstruct that, that kind of traditional structure. This is interior. And for the same village, I designed this hotel. This is a hotel, and the facade is the same as this, thatch block. And the thatch block is very good for insulation of the building, and also the result is using that kind of material that the plasma is disappearing. And I so, so discussed with the plasma, they are very, very excited to do that kind of building. <coughs> and the next project is with a very is a contemporary client, the Starbucks is, is a client. So because of the site, the site is very close to that old shrine, Tazai Kutia Mangal Shrine, built 919, very old building in Kyushu. So this is a Indian shrine. And this is Satoyaba, because again, mountain village, as a village mountain, and the arch, and the approach is one set. So I try to use a very, as a, as a old material, but contemporary structural system. This is not interior design, this is the building. We built that, that This is system. The two bars that are fixed by this the steel rod, and one by one, so we can add that the joint system, and finally we can make this building. And the totally, so we use of so four thousand meters of sticks for for this small the shop. At the beginning, the Starbucks said, why is it you uh, challenge such kind of uh, complicated structures? But uh, so finally, they are very happy to see that structure. And the next step is this, this small building. It's very recently completed in Tokyo, close from my office. Uh, and the, this shop is, uh, is for the pineapple cake shop. And when the pineapple cake shop owner came to my office, I suddenly was, uh, got, got a strong image about the building. Because it's, uh, that's, that structure system can be adapted to the pineapple. It's very similar to the shape of pineapple. And uh, this, is, uh, this is also structure, as a not decoration. The, that structure is more, com more difficult than Starbucks structure because we, support, we should support three stories by that structure system. This is the interior. This is the rooftop. This is the rooftop. And I want to ex explain, but it's difficult to explain. So we have three layers. One layer, two layers, three layers. And push, slide and push, but we can fix it. Again, we didn't use glue, we didn't use the metal for fixing. Just slide. And uh, so in Tokyo, so we also 
purpose of designing the wooden building. But that's me for this building, the main structure. Sorry. Main structure is steel. But the idea is stacking wooden houses. Because the human space of the houses and the warmness of the space in wood is what we need in 21st century. In 20th century, people want to as a reef in the concrete building, but in 21st century, we want to live in the wooden building. This is 40 meters building, but the section is like that. Those spaces between floor and roof so was used for space for machine. This is the result. And in the every force, we can feel we are living on the ground with natural material. This is a rooftop. And this is a new Tokyo Sky Tree Tower. It's more than 600 meters, but the material is steel. I don't like that. Though. And I, this is much smaller than Tokyo Sky Tree because I like the wood, and I like the textures and the warmness of the material. And this project is a city hall. It's a big city hall, but the main material is wood and earth. What we propose for this building is this kind of space. In the farmhouse, we call it Doma. We call that space Doma. Do means earth, Ma means space. The meaning of Doma is earth space. People like the earth. People like to uh, live on the earth. And uh, this is kitchen. Uh, people eat here, cook here, and meet here, drink here. So this is the most important space for farmers. But in 20th century, people forgot. This is a Doma space, so we uh, so reconstruct for this city hall. <coughs> and, uh, this is a city hall, it's a, it's a kind of office building, but the people of the city, Nagaoka city, really like that building. So almost every day, the kids are coming to that place to do homework. And every night, people are gathering that space to drink and eat. This is city hall, but it's very different from the normal 20th century city hall. So I want to so show the different type of public building. So, so because public building in 20th century is just a concrete box, but if people, what they, people want to have is some space like old farmer's house. So, so of course we combine modern technology with contemporary technology. But the main, most important thing for the, that building is material and human scale. Uh, this is the assembly hall for the politicians. Open to the Doma space. And we use uh, rice paper as well. This is a snow country of Japan. And people make rice papers in snow to get the whiter color. This is a special nice papers from this place. And this is ours. And this is, this furniture I designed by the use of rice paper. Not fabric, rice paper sofa. And color came from the, the special fruits, kaki, from the place. And uh, also the farmers are making that kind of the linen. So we use linen, that farmer's linen for here, for the counter, for like that. The another Doma space is for that museum. The centers we use, we design Doma space, and, the, and also so we uh, got a hint from the farmer's roof. And the, the addition and as a, an annex of that building is made by the unique wooden structure system. This is structure system. And this is this is system. The, the good thing for this system is it to add and to uh, the, uh, 
cut is very easy without any professional task. And strong as well. This is the interior. And so we also did as a respect to the traditional Japanese building. So the reconstruction of the theaters as a main coming theater that we did. And uh, after the, those uh, the practice, uh, recently we are working in Europe, so we, we have office in Paris, <coughs> and this is my first French project. So again, so we are very lucky, because nature is just beside our building, and history is in our sight. So we want to combine history, nature, with my, so the wooden building. The structure is good, and we have some void which connect nature and history and city. So we found the difference of Japanese carpenters and French carpenters, but that we are very excited to work with French carpenters. So another, the, the second French is a, a practice is Frac Marseille, so contemporary art museum in France of Marseille. The material is that <coughs> it is a recycled glass. The so Czech is very famous for its glass factory, but in France I found a very interesting glass factory. So I want to avoid solidness as possible. I don't want I want to avoid heaviness of the building. And then, <clears throat> and another thing is a semi outdoor space which connects city and the building. This kind of semi outdoor space. And, uh, so the next, first project in Spain is Granada as an opera house. As I got a hint from nature again. It's a fruits. Granada, pomegranate, the city, the name of the city came from the fruits. The unique geometry and unique structure system and also the uh, Alhambra Palace of Granada, the unique geometry again. As so I adapted that unique geometry to my building. This is a structure of that open house. This is as a, uh, Hectarical structure is supporting that building. Because we want to avoid beam and clamp structure. And also, from interior, people can feel that structure system. And uh, in Scotland, the, the hint is the cliff. The cliff. So, the cliff is are solid, but cliff is is not so heavy. I feel the cliff has, has a layers of the mineral and a beautiful sh shade, and that, that can give the, some kind of the, the warmness to the place. And the location of the, the, of the, of the building is very unique between waters and the land. What we propose for the person the place is the kind of the cliff made by fricus concrete. This is again void which connects nature and the building. And this is a section. This is a view from the city. And for interior, as we repeat the cliff by the use of wood. <coughs> and besides those bigger projects, so we are doing experimental small projects. So I like small projects because so we can do some challenge in the small project. It is a stone pavilion in Italy. Thickness of the stone is just one centimeter. 
and the Italian craftsmen that can that use stone like Japanese carpenter use wood for them. It is a very, very easy material. And uh, this is the first step of triangular structures. And the second step is aluminum triangular system in Japan. And this town has an old tradition of as a metal and as a, as a, as a steel factories as we want to as a, as a follow that the tradition with the contemporary as a metal technology. This is a joint, so we also designed. And uh, I want to adapt that system for the house. This is a house we designed by the use of the same material, same joint system. <coughs> And uh, so we want to define the house in a different way. We don't have flat space, flat floors. Every space has a different section. And this section, and this section, this section. And section has the activities the corresponding. So, and again, our student made that house by themselves. So always that for the small project I involve my student. It is very good for them to learn something. So the next step is same joint system but with good. The, the geometry is very, very is actually simple. Two types of geometry. These squares and this is a, 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 a square. But it looks like organic because the wood can cut anyway. The next the material is ceramic tile. In Italy, <coughs> I was asked to use the local ceramic tile to design a monument. And this is a monument, but the, the use of ceramic tile is very different from normal way. In the normal way of 20th century, concrete structures are cladded by tile. It's a kind of decoration. But here, the tile itself supports the building. Tile itself, the structure. We made, we made the model, so we as an engineer's calculation. And the system is to combine the vertical stainless steel pipe with the horizontal ceramic tile. It's, it's kind of weaving, it's a kind of knitting structure. We call it cloud because cloud, the shape is very ambiguous. It changes time by time. And, uh, and then the, the next step is a ceramic tile, a Chinese ceramic tile for the screen of that museum. Chinese ceramic tile is also very beautiful because I like the diversity of color and shape. that ceramic tile by stainless wires to create that organic shape. This is a detail. <coughs> so we can control the privacy and natural light by those ceramic tiles. And another unique material, probably you don't know that material. This material is Temperature, memory, temperature, memorable, metal. So if temperature is high, <coughs> the, that pavilion has this shape. And if temperature drops, the pavilion shape can change like that. Because that metal can change the form so according to the change of temperature. This is structures. This is the process we made that pavilion. Because the diameter of the metal is very, very thin. It's a two millimeter, and then it's very fragile. And then so we should use this kind of form to support that shape. Very transparent like that. And that day is a cold day. And the shape of the 
there's a dome, there's a drop like that. And the next is a similar idea, steam flame, but by the use of typical umbrella. This is the material, a normal umbrella. And if 15 umbrellas have gathered, we can build one dome. As you know, that means a flat, flat dome. But the flat dome, big difference from flat dome is flat dome, as a, he didn't use the tension of the public. But for this dome, we use the tension of the public plus <coughs> compression of the metal. And then we can minimize the size of the, the, um, the steel structures of the dome. Again, I worked with students, the 15 students working together, and they all are bringing their own um, um, special umbrella. And in one day, they can build a house. And this is India. India is very transparent because we can minimize the, the structure. People like to stay, live in the dome. They brought some as a, as a cooking as a, as a equipment, and they drink and eat, and they sleep after that. <laughs> so another as experimental project is a, as a poly tank. We call it a water brick. This is a hint. The first idea is, is a kind of similar to level. So we can control the weight of the material. And for normal material, we cannot control the weight. But for that kind of polytank, we can control the weight of material. It is a big advantage. And uh, but we didn't satisfy it with the result. The second step is water branch. It's a linear one. In that linear one, we can use this block as a piping system and water can flow in the wall. It is a big advantage. Okay? And this is an experimental house by the use of that fleet. Heat collectors is outside and the hot heat and the heated waters can get into the building, get into the wall and floors and ceiling, circulate. And it's a very effective system of controlling temperature. And uh, we tested it in my university building. My student worked for the pavilion, the connector. And finally, we can make, we can make that small house with bed. It is too small for big bed kitchen and pasta, all made by those one single material, one single unit. As any kind of shape can can make by this shape, because it's very similar to Lego. But the difference from Lego is that this is a, the, the water flow in that house. And uh, so in Germany, so, so, and this is the only building I built in Germany, the small tea house, Frankfurt. And when I was asked to design tea houses, the directors of Frankfurt Museum told me, don't use natural material. I, I was so confused. Why? He said, the vandalism was very, very terrible in Germany, he said. And the, if you, I use wood, so in next morning, the building will be, be disappeared, he said. And uh, uh, I should find this, another solution besides natural material. And uh, the, my solution is building is built only when it's needed. And there is an inflatable building like that. And in, in 15 minutes, we can build that building. This is a double skin building. The tatami mat inside. This is interior. 
the tatami mat, and this is a, the, fa the fabric membrane, the, fits very well. It's very similar, effect of light is very similar to rice paper screen of Japanese traditional house. And the fire is here, fire is here. And uh, as the next small as a, as a project is a tea house with a special public. This public is the most the, the uh, the lightest material in the world, lightest fabric in the world. The Super Organza is the name of the material. One Japanese company has, a, has a invented the material. And the weight, so the weight of the fabric and the, the counter, the floating weight, floating powers of the, the, uh, uh, that the balloon the balance is balancing like that. And the next step is that breathing pavilion. So ETFE is a material. And ETFE is usually used for the big loop, but so we made a small block by ETFE. And this can breathe like that. Because there is a pipe and there's a blower so besides of what is a bleed. So my dream is building that similar has similar softness with human body. The softness is a thief of my building. Because the traditional building, especially in Japan, traditional building has a softness. Wood and rice papers and tatami. So every material is very soft and can fit the softness softness of human body. But in 20th century, the concrete, steel, glass, all the, the hard materials are very cold materials. So we lost that kind of softness. As a, if, if so, so we can find the alternative the method so to create soft building. So we can so reconstruct another kind of the environment. As that is my dream. That today I want to to show some of the examples of my software. between uh, Japanese culture and Czech culture because Doma means in Czech language at home. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just uh, another thing that we have in common. Maybe. <laughs> and uh, now we will change uh, a little bit the schedule of the panel uh, since uh, we are not sure whether Mr. Kuma uh, could stay until the end of uh, the whole session. So, I would like to encourage you uh, to ask the questions if uh, you uh, had some, if you think about some questions to Mr. Kumar, please, you can ask now. <coughs> And I've got a question about material. You, um, all of them, your speak was uh, about the materials. And my question is if you already found a new material which has the body softness, because it was the last thing you said you want to create a new house from the, this kind of material. Have you already found it? Or? Hmm. I'm not yet, <laughs> but I tried to find some, some possibility. 
uh, I try to find the, some of the, the new possibility. Uh, so recently, I'm uh, very much interested in using the earth, the soil. So I, I show some example. But uh, that, that example is very similar to the masonry structures, so the traditional structure system. But as a root, so if we can provide root and some fiber, uh, we can combine rust and some fiber, so we can create the lighter structures by the earth. And so we are doing some as a, as a experimental project by the use of that combination of fibers and so earth. Thank you very much. So the next questions, please. <coughs> Hello, uh, my name is Boris. I got a question about how much time dedicates like to your practice, like we seen the big projects, and how much time you spent on the experimental projects. Like, uh, what's your time frame and what's your favorite thing? Thanks. It's good questions. Uh, uh, I, usually, I don't calculate what, how many time hours for the experimental, how many hours for the big project. But the important thing for me is double track. So if so we are doing the big project, and so sometimes it's very frustrating. <laughs> big projects, uh, there is a, is a, uh, a very hard regulation. Condition of the budget as a, as a client, so there are many, many com 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 complicated things happen for the bigger project. And so, but small project, so, so we can find the, the free, as a free area. Uh, so, in that free area, so we can do anything. So of course, so for the small project, we have some limit, but it's a limit of the material itself. And uh, so it's a, it's a kind of scientific level for me. And then so that kind of scientific level and big project always go together. And uh, that is very good for my mental health. Okay. Maybe just a small one. Uh, and the people like working in your office, uh, they are separated like in parts uh, in people that work just like on the commercial projects and people that work uh, like in the lab, or they mix? Uh, basically it's a they mix. And, so, and, and so we try to mix. And so if somebody is, uh, is working for the bigger projects for three years, I as a, as a make him back to the small project and go back and forth to small project and big project. It's good for the also very good for the in answer uh, the, their mentality and the motivation. So mot <laughs> understand? Is the size of the elements that you are using so somehow related to, to the human body? Yes, I think the size is very important for architecture because if the unit is too big, so we can control the space. So, uh, in Japanese traditional building, the size of the wood is very small. The diameter of the, uh, the sections of the wood is, is about 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And the uh, length of wood as a timber is, is uh, around uh, 2 meters to 3 meters. And that dimension is very human scale. And, uh, and very light as well. And the people can feel the sympathy to the, the building. But in 20th century, the concrete 
So concrete is one solid body of it. So, uh, so people cannot so make the compensation with that kind of huge volume. And the, what I try to uh, achieve for my project is to minimize the size of the, the element, to minimize the weight of the element, and, uh, and also to achieve the softness as possible as can. The goal is to uh, give the sympathy to the, the users. And uh, that is very, very important for myself. Hello, my name is Roman, uh, and uh, I would like to ask you how important for you is uh, teaching uh, on the university. Yeah, uh, so teaching the, in the university mm, is a good chance for me to uh, do the, some experimental projects with students. So I, I believe it's the best way to teach them is to work with them. And uh, then I show some examples of a similar project with student. And the uh, student uh, so now as so nowadays the so, so architectural student uh, is thinking so in the computer. So only the brain and computer. But if so they so work with real material with their own hand the imagination can be expanded, I think. Then so I uh, push them to do by himself. So, but in that case, so, so study by the computer is so already is very necessary. Uh, so, uh, you know the, uh, so some as a grasshopper. Grasshopper is a, as a Software, and we did a, a many studies about the size and pitch <coughs> and the density and shape by the use of grasshopper. And after those studies, we made the model. And after making the model, we made the real pavilion. And then the computers, the uh, analysis, and uh, the model analysis. Analysis and realization. So three steps are, should be integrated, I think. And the, and the students are very happy to work in those three steps. Okay. So uh, last two questions, please. Okay. 
So maybe one more question, and the last one will be the center of your right. Small company about the uh, the pump works, the wooden works has a, has a high quality and a long history and high quality. I try, try to involve them to our project. This is very helpful for our project. And also the, the, those private companies are very happy to work with us because also they can get some hint from the, our the design. And uh, so I think it's, it's a, it's a, it's a conversation between <coughs> as a, those as a good, as a, as a motivated country, company, and so our ideas, which is very really necessary for the future of architectural design. Structures, uh, I mean, uh, your concepts of, uh, of the structure, or uh, they just um, uh, just uh, or just uh, do uh, do they? Uh, well, usually, uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, they use other idea for their next products. Sometimes, not, 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 not so often, but sometimes. Okay. from here, from the University of Liberace. You have mentioned Frank Wright, right. And uh, we know how important was his uh, experience with uh, Japanese culture, or the development of his own architecture and in fact of the development of modern house, Western house. Now you are the ambassador of Japanese <coughs> culture in the world, working in France and everywhere. Can you tell, was it difficult for you to connect your uh, Japanese attitude to architecture with the reality of uh, building in such countries as uh, France and or United States, I saw your building in Europe? Yes, as, a, as, you, as you mentioned, Frank Lloyd Wright was a, was a big ambassador to Japan. And so he, was a, he was influenced by Japanese so the roof building, but sometimes we Japanese were so much influenced by him. And him and Anthony Lemon also, we got a big influence from, from, from two guys. And, uh, and um, for me, so, to do the project outside of Japan, is another big chance of exchange. Uh, I have to explain. Uh, you know Tadawando? Tadawando is, I respect, it, respect him very much, but he always as a, as a, as a, follow his method, his style, and his construction method as a, in Japan. It's always his building the same. But my building, uh, when I use bamboo in China, uh, I work with the Chinese craftsmen, and uh, their method is different from Japanese craftsmen. We, I enjoy the difference. And in France, so the, I, sh I show so the wooden construction, the method is a little bit different from Japan. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to push my method to France. Always I respect the local method. And also, so I'm, 
So my staff working with, for French project is mostly French. As I said, it's a mixed team. It's Japanese, French, and some German. It's a mixed team. And then the mixed team is very important. The mixed team is a, we can is a, is a activate the, the, the cultural exchange. And then that is my message. <laughs> Thank you.